So the solution of nickel acetate is made with uh, vinegar. This is just plain old vinegar with uh, about a tablespoon of salt in it. And then you want to hook up some uh, some nickel electrodes. Um, this one is on the negative side of the power supply. You can see it's bubbling hydrogen right there and uh, this other one right here is connected to the connected to the positive side if my camera will focus yeah it's on the positive and this is just hooked up to a 12 volt supply and uh, yeah you can really see the hydrogen coming out yeah so this should bubble um, if your solution gets too hot, obviously unplug it, wait for it to cool down, and then start again. But um, as you can see here, it's starting to become a little bit blue uh, or greenish. Like if I get, yeah, there you go, down here you can really see it. It's kind of green. It'll become more and more green over time, so uh, keep you updated and I'll tell you how long it took. Alright, so here my nickel acetate solution is done. You can see here on the positive lead I have a, um, a piece of, of nickel sheet connected to the positive lead and on the negative lead I have a just a piece of copper wire. This is a test uh, to see how the reaction goes. You can see here it's, it's in the water. So uh, I have my power supply connected. If I turn it on, you can see it's um, it should be producing five volts, but for some reason it's not turning on. Oh, there you go. If I just adjust it to five volts, there you go. You should see the wire start to bubble. If this will focus. Let me, there you go. There you go. You can see it's bubbling. I think if I put it here on my tripod, you should see it better. Yeah. You should be able to see that it's, uh, it's bubbling quite a bit. Um, you probably want to leave it in there for about one minute at a time and check on it every every so often. So uh, yeah, just gonna leave it for another uh, thirty seconds or so, and we will see. So um. This uh, solution, well, the whole nickel plating thing, I I'm doing because I am working on on making a um, a rocket engine out of copper, which is which is coming. Uh, so it's been 30 seconds now. You probably want to just take it out and check. And I don't know if you can see this on camera. Let me try and show you. So if I try and focus here, there you go. Maybe you can see, like you can see, wait, where is it? Yeah, here, there is sort of a transition. Wait, there you go, here there's sort of a color transition. You can see it go from the copper to nickel. You probably can't see it. So, you know, obviously it's not done, so you want to put it back in for another minute or so. So if I just turn it back on and readjust my power supply to 5 volts. Now this, by the way, this is just a cheap uh, adjustable power supply. Um, you can probably, you can actually, not probably, you can just use a, a phone a phone charger if you cut the, the leads off of it. 
Let me just get this right. There you go. You should be able to see the top of it bubbling. Um, sadly, I can't like get the camera fixed above above this because my tripod is is too low. So as I was saying, this is to um to to plate a rocket engine I'm I'm working on. Uh, it's made out of copper, and uh, I've got all the parts to start uh, melting it. So it'll it'll be coming soon. In it should be done uh, in less than than a month normally. Um, so I I like printed the parts and uh, 3D printed the parts, and I'm gonna mold them and. Um, make them out of copper. I, I bought the parts to make a foundry and so those will be all uh, independent videos. I have a PID controller. It's an electric foundry so you, you, you'll see all the, of that coming obviously. So it has um, been close to a minute, another 20 seconds or so. I can already see the tip of my wire is really shiny. Um, Actually, most of it is pretty shiny, so yeah, we'll take it out in uh, in five seconds or so. Yeah, now that was good. So turn the power supply off. If I unhook this and look, oh yeah, now it's really starting to get nickel colored. So just let me show you. I don't know where the focus point is. Uh, yeah, it's about here. I hope you can see a transition in color. Uh, yeah, you probably can't really see it on camera, uh, but it, it is really it is really visible uh, with the naked eye. So I can assure you that a color change has happened. So, yeah, let me just refocus this. There you go, and reset my power supply to 5 volts. And 5 volts, there you go. So, the rocket engine I'm making is a, uh, as I said, copper, copper made out of copper, but um, it uses uh, ethanol, so just drinking alcohol as, uh, as the, as the propellant and um, gas, ga gaseous, that's hard to say, <laughs> gaseous oxygen as, uh, as the oxidizer, because that is uh, the easiest to do. Uh, getting liquid oxygen is well, first you need to get gas gaseous oxygen to get liquid oxygen anyway because it's really hard to buy liquid oxygen so you have to buy liquid nitrogen and liquefy your own oxygen so I figured might as well just use gaseous oxygen because I need to use it I need to produce it to get liquid oxygen anyway so that's that. I'm going to be using um, uh, pressure swing adsorption method for making the oxygen so once again there will be a video on that you basically uh, compress air and it gets the nitrogen gets absorbed by some zeolite molecular sieves but whatever that'll be in a future video uh, yeah it's bubbling quite well uh, I'm actually really happy with the way this plates uh, I haven't actually plated anything yet. I mean, I've done a couple of tests, but this is the re first real, uh, real plating of an object I'm doing, and so far it's going, it's going pretty well. Um, yeah, I'll actually leave it for a bit longer this time, just, uh, just cause you know, just to save some time. But uh, obviously, if you were uh, plating a whole object, you would uh, hang it from a wire so that the whole object got coated, not just part of it like here, but 
Once again, this is a test. I will show you the nickel plating of my rocket engine once, once, uh, well, once it, w it will be time uh, to plate it. So, yeah. Okay, I think we can check on it now. If I turn this off and unhook this. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's coming along really nicely. So, if I show you, yeah, now you can definitely see on camera the the change. It's uh, Oh, uh, there you go. It's right here, right along here. So yeah, there is a definite change in color. It really has this. Well, I was gonna say silver, but obviously it's nickel color, but you know, silvery, like like metal, not the orange reddish of of copper. So this is still not done. I think we can. Yeah, I think we can plate it a bit more. So we'll just put this back. Oh wait, there you go. Turn the supply back on. Get all of this going. So you want to use um, quite a quite a low voltage for for planing. Wait, let me try and move the camera so you can get maybe. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. You can maybe get a better view. So yeah, I was saying you want to use a quite the low voltage for plating um, because like that you'll have a higher quality of of plating um, is what I've what I've read. Uh, so you know, once again, I've I've never really tried this, but most people say to use um, like six volts, so like lantern batteries. But obviously, if if you use five volts, it's it's you know a, a bit better, and um, honestly, I don't think it it'll take much longer. So yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm I'm pretty satisfied already with um, with how it's working. So I'm I'm gonna cut the video for now. I'll be back. Um, I'll be back once it's plated to show you the result. So um, yeah, here's the piece of wire. You can uh, really see the the plating and how it went here. You can really see the the break between the copper collar and the nickel coating. And um, I am I'm really satisfied with uh, how it turned out. I left it an extra um, five minutes in the solution uh, with five volts on it. So it was about maybe I don't know seven or eight minutes total, I can't remember, but I'll, I'll write it on the screen now. So uh, yeah, this is a huge success. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you soon with uh, the rest of this project.